Dear students, it is the fifth video for week seven, Pakistan studies. We are learning the state structure of Pakistan. And in this video, we will cover some points about the political parties. Dear students, to exactly understand the nature of the political system in Pakistan, we have to trace the roots back into British Raj. Dear students, you understand that the current political system is the gift of the Western democracy. And in the Western parliamentary democracy, political parties play a very vital role. For example, in England, Whigs and Tory was the famous political parties, okay, and they would select the very powerful person, the Prime Minister of England, who would run the states of affairs of the kingdom under the permission and instruction of the monarch or the king of England. The students, before the British had taken control of subcontinent, here the old monarch system was in. India was a vast land and being controlled by various dynasties like Mughals, Sikh, Hindus, okay, and other religions and regions were controlled by different princes. Prince and queens were ruling over entire India according to their own uh, philosophy or roots. But in 1857, when all came under the British, a new era started. In 1858, the Queen of England took control of the India under the British Raj. Okay. And in 1885, okay, in British Raj, and Viceroy was appointed formally from the King of England. The Viceroy was the highest authority in the colonial subcontinent and every function was under the control of the Viceroy. And Viceroy was only answerable to the British Parliament or the King of the uh, England. People had no say. People of subcontinent had no rules and regulation and rights. They were not the part of the system of the government. At that time in 1888, 85, A.O. Hume, A.O. Hume was a British serviceman, I mean, he was in the Indian service, civil service, British officer. He gave the idea of forming a political party to the people of subcontinent so that they can communicate their problems and issues to the viceroy and he may take these problems to the British Parliament and they could make the law because there was no constituent assembly. The people of subcontinent formed then the Congress and Congress was considered the only representative for the entire people of the subcontinent. But because it was the Hindu dominated party, so they converted more in for the Hindu interests. Muslims were highly uh, hurt and they uh, received many offsets and setbacks from the Congress, they decided to make the party in 1906, 
they formed Muslim League to protect the rights of the Muslims of subcontinent and they met with the uh, Viceroy of India at that time. Okay, so these political parties are one of the oldest political parties in subcontinent by different names and forms. Later on, the struggle between two nations, between two majorities in subcontinent started and continued under the banner of Congress and under the banner of Muslim League. Finally, it resulted in partition in 1947. Pakistan came into being and India separated. Okay, fine. So this is the story of the political parties. When Pakistan came into being, then their other parties, when the Muslim League was the leading political party. Later on, another Pakistan Awami Tariq uh, by Mujib Rahman, okay, that was the political party uh, emerged in East Pakistan, okay, and then there were numerous other political parties. Now we find in Pakistan lots of political parties. So political party actually is the basic unit of the Western democracy. First of all, the form framers was of the designer or the leaders of the political thoughts, they make political party. They set their manifesto. Okay. They set their manifesto. Okay. They make membership. They invite the people to come and join them. Okay. They collect chanda or they collect finance. Okay. Okay. And then they run different kind of programs, different kind of demonstrations. Okay, and this is how they become favorite in the public. And finally, a political party when uh, become more favorite among the people and people start believing in them, okay, then they enter into the political power game. This uh, uh, can, uh, they select their own uh, counselors, their own uh, MNAs or MPAs, fine. And these M MNAs or MPAs elect the prime ministers and all others, fine. So this political party is the basic unit under the uh, Western democracy, fine. Let's see it further. Political parties perform multiple functions in a democracy. They help create strong coalition of citizens bodies and interest groups clear and they create coherent policy programs facilitate trainings of the legislative candidates and political leaders allow voters to choice their own government teams and policies clear and they organize government and take actions fine so mean the power political power the power to hold the departments of the state and to make law directly or indirectly fall under the hands of the political party. And political party makes functions, first of all, it convenes the people, educates the people, okay, uh, then creates awareness about their rights, okay, and when they find that there is anything wrong happening in a department, in a country, then they go and demonstrate as their basic right. Fine. So political parties are, they play a very important role. Similarly, let's compare with in India. Congress was the major party. Later on, Congress, another party, BJP, the core Hindu party emerged and there are 100,000 parties there. And same is the game in many countries. Here in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, there is called multi-party system. That there can be many, many parties. But in England, there are just two parties. Okay. In America, there are just two parties. Either Democrats, either Republicans. 
okay and in russia or especially in china there is just one party there is no party system at all same party rules and that is why there are there is consistency in their policies the students let's find out the role of the political parties integration and mobilization of the citizens that the political leaders they integrate convene the people okay uh, organize them they mobilize the people they ask them to come out to sit in to help others okay articulation and aggregation of interests they invite the people about various interests about the problems for example uh, uh the current political party like the manifesto of the insaf tariq insaf to provide equal and fair right to the people in pakistan okay uh similarly every political party invites the people on a uh, various groups some for for example some for business uh some political parties promise and invites the people to solve their educational issues solve their uh, economic issues okay for example roti kapda and makan it is the manifesto of the pakistan people's party and the aim and they ask the people to come and join them so that their life be easier they should be having facility of food and living and all of this recruitment of the political leaders and organization of parliament and government okay so their people come as workers they work they become a members they become the heads of the political parties they take part in elections okay and they are elected as the member of parliament member of the government and this is how they enter into the power okay oversight of the policy implementation okay and whatever the policy they think roti kapda and makan and saf and others then they uh, legislate they make change and legislation in the main law and then they implement those rules and regulations and policies to the people let's have the main political parties in pakistan the oldest political parties all pakistan muslim league okay that was the oldest later on awami league in east pakistan okay and they are the two major then the third party was pakistan people's party established by zulfikar ali bhutto and now awami national party anp most of their followers are in kpk and some may be in karachi balochistan awami party balochistan national party mangal group grand democratic alliance jamaat e islami jamaat e ulama e islam fazlur rahman jejuai group mujtahid mutahida majlis e amal muj mutahid sorry mutahida majlis e amal mutahida qaumi movement national party allah akbar tehreek pakistan muslim league functional pakistan muslim league nawaz pakistan muslim league qaid e azam so these are the sub branches of the muslim league pakistan people's party parliamentarians pakistan tehreek e insaf pakhtun khwa milli awami party pak sar zameen party by karachi from karachi qaumi watan party tehreek e labbaik pakistan so these political parties have their own manifestos some follow the democratic rules some follow the religious affinities okay but in short that this political system in pakistan and the clash between the political parties are worsening are creating problems in pakistan and creating 
and causing many losses in terms of finance, business, management and policies. Rather than making many political parties, if all the people settle their targets in one direction and they leave the injustice and they promote democracy democracy within their own then the country can be better work i hope students you have learned about the political system of pakistan and and finally the significance of the political parties thank you very much